Good, good, good evening, Year 6, and welcome to today's session of your Transition Club. And guess what is one that you've all been looking forward to because the emails have been flooding in throughout the week. Some of you have actually even sent in your um, drawings. You've shown, like, Miss, I can draw, I can do this already. So I've seen a couple of artwork that we might hopefully be talking about at some point as well. So today's session, like I said, is your virtual art clubs. Parents, if there's any of you in the background watching, I hope you enjoyed the session. Feel free to join in. Um, okay, so ready for today's session. So just like always, what you need to do is you need to make sure you go ahead and you scan the QR code so you can be um, participating. So I want to see those highs coming in. Hi, Miss Shallow. You can see Miss Bosley's hair as well. And we've got two other art teachers in the background. Miss Boss is going to be introducing them in a minute. Right, ladies and gentlemen, a quick housekeeping. I'm loving that Cara. So I can see Cara and I can see what school Cara is in or currently at. So we don't want any anonymous make sure you write your name so when you go to log in and you ask for your name write your name and then in brackets put your primary school in so when we're talking about you we can talk about so for example i know that um, precious is from bishop john robinson i think that's what it's called farid from hillgrove so excellent i'm seeing some names from last week's sessions as well so anonymous hi anonymous but i need to know your name i need to know what primary school you're currently at Jesse and Paige are in the house from Bursted Woods. Hi, Jesse and Paige. We've got Charlotte from Brampton. We've got oh, um, Karen said hello again. So just give you a few seconds to make sure you put your name and your primary school. Daniel from Burst, um, Burst uh, Burnhurst. Sorry. So welcome. And we've got Sophie from East um, Wickham. Don't put your surname, guys. Just put your first name. Don't put your surname. Just your first name. Should in case we actually go on screen we don't want your names showing or your full names hi anonymous anonymous i need to know who you are there's another anonymous that's saying hi i want to see a big hi miss shallow if you put in capital letters that's how i know how excited you are isn't it hello everyone daniel said hi to everyone thank you sophie sophie's going ahead going to go ahead and fix that and that, I think people are all just logging in, Miss. We'll just give them a few more, maybe a minute, Miss um, Bosley, if that's okay. That sounds perfect to me. Oh, Taylor, extra, extra. I'm loving it. So Taylor has written Taylor from Bursted Woods. Love it. Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to your session on art. I'm now going to pass you over to Miss Bosley. Miss Bosley and her team obviously are from the arts department. Over to you, Miss. Hi, everyone. It's so good to read all your messages for today. Um, lovely to see you all here. Um, so for this session today, all you need for, for yourself at home is a pencil and some paper. OK, that's all you need. So what I would what how we first start our, uh, our uh, lesson in Bexley Heath Academy is, first of all, our check ins. This is so we can assess what you know and, you know, see what you what, what else um, you can bring to bring to the table for this session. Um, so my first check in for everyone, please write it in the um, Slido window. So first one is, can you explain who you are through your personal preferences? You want to use the topics on this table to describe your own choices. So you've got food, you've got subject, you've got number, your letter, animal and hobby. So for example, I want food, your favourite food. My favourite food has got to be spinach. I'm sorry, it's not junk food, but I do love spinach. And my subject, obviously, obviously, it's art and design. My number, it's three. Letter is D. An animal, elephant, hobby is definitely running. I think running is my favourite sport. So what I want you to do, guys, is in the chat window, I would like you to put answers to all of those topics for me, please. So I'm just going to read them as they come through the Slido window, just so I can see what your favourite food is, subject number, so I can see, get a vibe for you. Hi, Arden. For, hello, BA teachers. Yeah, hiya. Um, 
uh, Leila Haya. So I want everyone to type in the window for me and just tell me, let me know what, what are your preferences? What do you like? Miss, I'm guessing whilst they type in that, I'm just thinking, okay, if I were doing this, what am I going to type? What's my favorite food? Um, you're right, Miss. I love anything with spinach, just like you, but I like mushroom and I like cheese. So any of those, if oh, I have cheese. a dish that had all those three, love it, would like, I would eat it. Um, subject, obviously, it has to be science. Um, I do like literature as well. Or oh, I think I really used to enjoy literature. Uh, my favorite number, I'm thinking seven, lucky number seven. Uh, my favorite letter, I don't know, it's so hard. Maybe S, I wonder why. <laughs> my favorite animals, I don't, I'm not really an animal person, but I guess if I was, can it be a wild animal, miss? Yeah, any animal you choose. I, do you know what? It's not a wild animal per se, but I love a giraffe. Got to say, they're brilliant so creatures. Around there. Like, yeah, beautiful colours. I've got and some amazing answers coming in. I've got some amazing answers coming in. I've got uh, one from, where did it go? I've got loads. So Daniel, chicken, PE, number 11, D, dolphin, gaming, sports. Brilliant answers there. Favourite food is noodles. Brilliant. They go with loads of things. Cara is saying ice cream, art, yes. Um, number 17, letter C, cats and drawing. Sounds like my type of girl. Um, we've got um, Oliver, olives, interesting. Uh, art, number three, uh, O, penguin, little men in little suits. Uh, dodgeball, brilliant guys. Sophie, food, sausage roll, subject art, excellent. Another art enthusiast, number 11, letter S, animal koala. Brilliant hobby, gymnastics. Brilliant, guys. There's some amazing, amazing answers coming in. I'm getting a real sense of who you are and what you enjoy. Love the fact that so many of you are actually saying art is your favourite. Charlotte, favourite food is pizza or spaghetti or McDonald's. Wow, you've got loads of food choices there, Charlotte. Uh, favourite subject is art, PE. Favourite number is eight. Favourite letter is C, animal, cat or dog hobby football some amazing answers there guys amazing answers so i'm gonna move on um quickly because we've got so much to get through in this session so we're going to move on so um after the check-in what we would be moving on to is we'll then be moving on to explaining your learning question your exploration question for today's session so miss if you could flick on over to the next thank you very much so in the orange box this is what we are going to be exploring today. This is how can you create a self-portrait without drawing a face? Without drawing a face. Some of you might not, what, might not think, how the hell do you do that? Well, there is a very simple way and you'll find out how you'll do that in today's session. Okay. Also, you have the uh, key question for the whole of the term above that learning question for today. And that one is how can you use art techniques to illustrate your personal identity? So we're going to be exploring all that within today's session with you guys today. Okay. So any questions at the moment? Just looking at my slido brilliant no questions at the moment okay so what we then move on to is a think share activity again we're going to put the answers into the uh, slido window for me please and what you're going to do look at that picture that contains glasses some um incense sticks, jewellery, um, some perfume behind the sunglasses. Now, what I want you to do is how can you show identity in a piece of artwork? What do you think you, how you could show identity in a piece of artwork? If we could put the uh, questions, the answers into the chat window, that would be amazing. Free food? Yes, definitely. What you like, Jessica and Paige, brilliant. Exactly, what you like, brilliant. Food, definitely. It shows the type of person, whatever food you're painting or drawing, doesn't it? Things you like and you like to do, definitely. Your personality. But how would you show personality, Charlie? What sort of things could you show your personality through? 
Isabella, ice cream. Well, if you love ice cream, definitely. Hobbies, definitely. Hobbies and our feelings, yes. Food, definitely. So we've definitely got it, guys. We've definitely got that we can show um, our identity through different objects, different food items. Um, so these are the different ways that we are going to be exploring today. OK, Michelle, if you could uh, move on for me, please. Excellent, guys. So we're, we're swiftly moving on to the instructions of today's lesson. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be drawing what you can see on this screen. Not exactly because this is showing your personality, what you like. So step one, what you're going to be drawing for me is you're going to draw an eye in an eye in the centre of your page. So if we, if I draw your attention to um, Miss Bahari and Miss Kaliva's um, image on the left-hand screen, thank you so much, Michelle. Oh, very, very, very light there, but you can roughly see that it is in the centre of the page. Okay, flick back for me, Miss um, Shallow, so I can. Brilliant, thank you. And then once you've drawn that eye into the centre of the page, you're going to separate that background into a variety of different shapes, okay, and sizes. And what you're going to draw in that is you're going to draw different objects, different things that relate to you, show your personality. This could even be words, words, people that are important to you. OK, so we're getting a true sense through your own image, what, who you are and what you enjoy doing. OK, trying to represent yourself. So if we go back to Miss Bahari for me, Miss Shallow, that would be perfect. So what Sir and Miss are doing here for you is they're doing a demonstration for you. So first of all, you draw that eye in the centre of the page. You can see that they've applied their shape. OK, so it looks like an eye in the centre. Once they've done that shape, they're going to add tone, a variety of different tonal values, OK, to that eye. Once that tonal, tonal tone sorry, has been added to the eye, can you see how realistic it looks? It looks like an eye. You can draw this eye from your own, looking at a reflection of your own eye in a mirror, in your phone. You could be drawing an eye from someone that is sitting next to you. OK, so you're drawing that eye out really, really, really detailed. Maybe you could draw some eyelashes on there as well if you want some top and bottom eyelashes. Once you've done that and that beautiful drawn eye, you're then going to add those sections into and around that eye. Oh, here we go. Some beautiful artwork by Mr. Bari and Miss Kaliva. OK, so you've got some beautiful ice creams there. They're all the same. So we're creating like a pattern in those ice creams. We've got some swirls there, some patterns. I'm assuming that's a pattern that she really likes and likes to draw. So you're building up a collection of different patterns and shapes around around your eye. So, yep, yeah, you can do. I'm going to just look very quickly, guys, at some questions that you you may have in regards to this. So Miss Bahari and Miss Kaliva are teachers at Bexley Heath Academy, guys. They are teachers with me in the department. So you are adding all the different um, things that you like, places you enjoy, um, objects that you enjoy playing, like football, cricket bat, tennis, okay, all of those things that you want to add to your, your drawing, okay? Are there any questions? I wonder if there's anything that Mr. Bahari or Miss Kaliva want to add to um, add to uh, to help you explain what it is that you're doing. Yes, hello everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Um, I just wanted maybe to explain you a little bit more about my drawing. So um, for me, spiral is a symbol that represents life 
and live uh, liveness that's why i use it here um ice cream is my fav one of my favorite food together with maybe chocolate cakes pizza um usual things i love nature that's why i have some leaves here and I love animals. So here I plan to start um, drawing some animals and seven is my lucky number. Um, that's why I decided to do the number seven. So maybe I can give you some more ideas of things you can do. Um, they could be objects, they could be numbers, letters. You can even do some words or it could even be a little picture of um, something that you enjoy or inspire you. Okay, um, go on. Okay, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so Mr. Bahari here. So just as Miss Khalid was saying, when you're making your drawing of your eye, the eye is something which is a part of you, but it doesn't really look too recognizable. If people saw the eye, they might not know who you are. So we're looking at exploring the identity, but not how you look, but by the things that kind of make you who you are. So we're going to have the eye in the center, and then I'm just going to demonstrate now. I'm just going to try and draw it. We're going to split the sort of area around it. We're going to draw some lines radiating out. And we're going to create some sections. So maybe, let's say I've got two sections here. So I've got one, two, three. Keep on going. Four, five, six. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So think about the things that make you who you are, that make you different from your friends. It could be like your, your hobbies. So let's say you like football. And... Um, Okay, so let's say I like football. So I'm going to draw, so I can do it very simply. I'm going to draw some footballs in here, but we're going to try and make them into a pattern. So I'm varying the size a little bit here. So you've got some footballs, and with football, you're going to have the panels, and it's kind of difficult to do the panels. So if some of you guys can do it better than me, I'd be very impressed because it's not the easiest of things to do. But then, okay, as well as football, let's say you like music. So we could be drawing some musical notes because uh, everyone likes music, but we've all got different types of music. Or it could be that you write down the things you like. Let's say you're a really big fan of, say, Batman. Let's say Batman is your favorite um, superhero. So you, if you don't want to actually draw Batman, you could actually be writing down the names. But if you want to be a little bit clever, we can do it in bold letters. So it looks a little bit more interesting. And so it's easier to read. So then you start to build up your identity. You, you're conveying your identity not through how you look, but by kind of drawing the things that make you who you are, that separate you from your friends. So let's see, what else could it be? Maybe maybe you quite like, um, let's say you like cycling. So I'm gonna try and draw a bicycle. I haven't drawn one for a while. I'm gonna put one down here, okay? So I'm gonna draw two wheels, draw a frame, forks, and draw the, um, the chain set, saddle, handlebars, chain spokes, so I'm starting to put different things there. So I've got football, I've got music, I've got Batman, I've got um, I've got a bicycle. What else could make you different from your friends? Let's say um, I don't know. Let's say you're let's say you, you're coming from another country. Let's say that maybe maybe you weren't born in England, or maybe your parents let's say they're born in France, or they're born somewhere abroad in Asia or in Africa. It might be that you use that flag. So for example, I lived in Denmark for a while, and I could draw the Danish flag because that feels like a part of my identity. And Miss Kaliva, she's um, Bulgarian, so she would draw the Bulgarian flag. So if I was drawing the Danish flag, it's very similar to the English St. George's Cross, but it's actually, it's opposite way around. It's a red background with a white cross on it. Uh, what other things can make up your identity? The clothes, the way you dress. Yeah, let's say your, your favourite brand. Let's say you're quite into, um, let's say you want to draw your favourite brand. So you're trying to draw Nike. But we know that we're not going to have time to do a brilliant job for it, but we can start to draw in your brands you like. Or let's say you quite like, um, let's think of another one. Let's say you're Adidas. Now, I can't remember exactly how the logo goes. I think it's like, is it three stripes? How many stripes is it for Adidas, miss? Four. Okay. I think it's three. I think it's three. Maybe we have to go and Google it. Um, yeah, okay. So I've got to think of one more part of my identity. What can we have? Uh, let's say I like the food I like. Okay. I love pizza. I've got to say, <laughs> and the Italians won't like this, but I like having pineapple on my pizza. So I'm going to draw a pizza up here, Let's put it over here. So I'm going to draw a pizza and I'm going to draw it at an angle. And I'm going to, I'm going to say it's cut. Let's say I've just got it from Papa John's. 
So it's cut up and I'm just going to, I'm just going to sketch on tomato sauce and I'm going to put some ham on there and let's draw some pineapple rings. Quite difficult to see. We're drawing this very small. So we won't be able to have the detail you would do normally, but the idea is that we're going to have different parts of your identity expressed for you representing them in your drawing. So we start off with the eye and then we put in things that you enjoy. So I'm going to put in another film I like. I really like a film that you guys might know of, you might not. It's called Inception by Christopher Nolan. And he actually directed some Batman films. So you could actually be writing down the names of things that you like. Just like we did at the beginning at a check-in when we said what our favourite animal was and what our favourite foods were, favourite colours, favourite numbers. We're kind of doing that, but uh, we're making it just a little bit, we're just going a little bit further with it. So, I think, um, I don't know if you're ready, Miss. Um, That's Miss perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. That has been perfect to uh, really, really demonstrate what it is that we are hoping that um, these they get where they get to this afternoon. So thank you so, so much. So um, what I'm going to do, what uh, we tend to do now is why you have been um, spoken about with the instructions and you hopefully, hopefully by now you have, you know, started to develop that eye and you start to add that tone within your eye drawing. Okay. So what I, we would normally go to is we'd go to a checkpoint guys. So this checkpoint, illustrates can we just go next slide for me guys thank you very much the checkpoint we would literally be um going to um discuss a question okay so i would put a question towards you to you and i want you to pick out which one you believe is the correct answer you've got three choices there one in red green and amber and what i want you to do is i want you in the um in slido i want you to to pick out and tell me which one is the correct is it a b or c so the question is is about a key word is identity i want you to define the word identity is the correct um definition for this word is it a a drawing of your favorite things is it b a person's characteristics that make them who they are or is it C, a piece of artwork of your own face? Can we type in? I want to see all those answers coming through Slido and seeing if we've if we've got the correct answer coming through. Brilliant, guys. I've got so many coming through right now. A lot of you are saying B. A lot of you saying B. Yep. Anyone saying anything else? We've got everyone going B, 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 definitely B, B as I don't make you who you are. Definitely, guys, loving some of these answers. Definitely. So, yes, the answer is, oh, sorry, guys, is B, a person characteristics that make them who you are. OK, so fantastic for for answering that correctly. So. Miss, if I could ask you to just go back to the following slide. Next, the one back. That's it. Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much, Michelle. So what I would be going through as well is I would be going through um, these um, grading criteria that are on the right hand side of your screen. So I will be going through like developing. So this is what you would be achieving if you was at developing. So you would have created a basic drawing of an eye and included some of your favorite things in the background. So this this is where you're just drawing a simple line drawing and you've just got the basic of details nothing nothing too nothing too much just so you can see exactly what it is and you know you are drawing your favorite things in and around the eye you've also got next you've got securing I will have neatly presented a tonal drawing of my eye with a variety of different objects that I feel represent me in the background. So this is where you would have drawn a really good tonal drawing of your eye and objects or things around your eye in a really, really sophisticated way and detailed way, showing all of that, that detail that's included in the eye. So for example, detail in the iris around on the eyelashes. So really 
really getting that detail there so we know exactly what it is. Also adding tone with your drawing pencil in the background for those objects. Um, mastering is the next um, grading criteria. This is where you would be like showing your real strong ability in to be able to apply tone to your objects, to your eye, to make it very realistic and look accurate to what it is you was trying to draw. Okay, and it looks three dimensional. It doesn't look two dimensional, it doesn't look flat. As you can see what's happening in Miss Bahari and Miss Kaliva's drawing, you can really see that they've drawn their shapes using line and building on what they've got, adding that detail and tone to it. Okay, are there any, I'm just gonna flick back guys, cause I'm really talking. I just wanna see if there are any questions at the moment that um, I need to answer. I'm so looking forward to at the end um, when we get the opportunity to for you to send in your pictures, all of these pictures that you're creating this afternoon for us. Some brilliant there work by Miss Khalifa and Miss Bahari. Jessica and Paige have asked, do I like frogs? I do like frogs. I do like frogs. I'm not sure that I would potentially hold a frog because it is very, very slimy, but I do love frogs. They are very odd creatures. And because of that, that is why I love them. I take it, Jessica and Paige, you love frogs. I hope, I hope that on your drawings, um, uh, Jessica and Paige, I can see those frogs being drawn. Any more questions, guys? I hope every everyone is aware of what it is they're doing and they're drawing. Penguins, do I like penguins, hamsters and guinea pigs? I most definitely do like all of those animals, Oliver. I used to own quite a few of them apart from the penguins. Any more questions, guys? Precious has asked, do, I, do you like drawing when you was a child? Yes, I was drawing pretty much most of, most, of, uh, most of the time. I was drawing whenever I got the chance. I, couldn't, I can't say that I was particularly good at it to start with, but as I, I continued to draw and you know, have enthusiasm for drawing, I, I got better. I definitely got better over time. Adam's put cats or dogs. I would definitely be drawing dogs on my picture. If I was going to show my, my, uh, my favourite animal, it would be elephants and dogs. Okay, guys, we've also got you know, some stretch challenges here as well. So if you want to include more challenging objects to draw in your background, then please do push yourself. Please do take that risk. I do love students that take that risk to, you know, they love these these creatures, these objects, these things, and they, they really do want to put them into their drawing. And I love, I love um, students that take those risks to, um, to try their best. Precious, you can start drawing whenever you're ready. As soon as I mention what you could draw, you can definitely get drawing, Precious. Hi, just to add to the background ideas, for example, here I've got some leaves and I just thought while you we were talking, I can add some clouds and sun and things like this so when you're doing your background maybe think about what is the environment where do we find these things so of course leaves could be found on trees they could be found on the floor if it's autumn um, 
here for the numbers, you can represent maybe a sketchbook or um, a workbook or the board of your teacher. The animals could be in various environments from the zoo to your house, maybe outside, a natural environment. How about the ice cream? Maybe you can make some hand here that could hold the ice cream. I can do this very quickly and get a, an idea to show you an idea of this and so on. Um, and here again, I can think of anything. This is quite abstract, it's not realistic. So you can think of any kind of shape or pattern you can add here. So I would add maybe some flowers that I would think would fit well in this kind of pattern. Also, if you have any questions for us, feel free to ask us. So there's, there's a couple of you saying that you're done. So Miss Kaliva was mentioning what else you could put into, into your drawings. Think about that background in each of the sections. Think about what else you could add to, to really stretch and challenge your drawing. So, um, sorry, Miss Shallow, could we go on to the next checkout for checkpoint for me, please? The next one. Brilliant. So we've got a knowledge question here, guys. So again, I'm going to ask you to put the correct um, the correct answer into the um, Slido chat window for me. OK, so this is a knowledge question. How can you make your drawing look more realistic? Is it a by creating a simple line drawing? Is it B, by adding a variety of shades, creating depth? Or is it C, by adding random colors to your drawing? Okay, so I'm just gonna give you uh, 30 seconds to have a read, have a think about that, uh, that uh, question and those answers and see how many we can get coming through to the chat and see how many correct answers we can get. There's a lot of answers coming through here, guys. Brilliant. This is fantastic. Maybe to challenge yourself, guys, if we can put the, the correct answer and then maybe what you could say is why you believe that is the correct answer. To really stretch and challenge yourself. Sophie, it will, um, you will know how to do it at the end of this session. Okay, 10 more seconds, guys, on those that are here to add their correct answer into uh, the chat window for me. Precious, love it. B, because it adds hard work and like it makes it stand out. B, as it gives it more detail. Fantastic. Nice, Daniel, because it gives it more realism. Excellent. Fantastic answers there, guys. Should we see how Miss Kaliva's getting on and Mr. Bahari? Let's see how they're getting on with their picture. Oh, look at that coming on, adding detail and tone to that, to that picture. Fantastic drawing there. What does everyone else think? How does everyone else think that Miss Kaliva and Miss Bahari's picture coming on? I'll give it a huge thumbs up. Oliver, wow. Ava, brilliant, thank you. They're all saying wow, sir and miss. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I'm sure your pictures are even better than mine and, and Mr. Bahari's one. So keep going. We would love to see them later. They've thumbs up. Some really, really nice comments going on here, guys. I'm loving all the positivity. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it.
any questions, guys? Any questions about what it is you're doing and, you know, what you, you need to add to anything? Maybe we can uh, just sit here and just discuss tone, guys. You know, when you're applying tone, that means that with your drawing pencil, you're adding different different shades of that colour. So your colour, your uh, pencil is, is, you know, producing this grey, grey tone. Now, you can get really harsh, dark tones with this drawing pencil. If you if you apply a lot of pressure to your drawing pencil, it becomes very dark, very deep, and you can start adding, you know, darker areas, you know, where the shadow would be in your drawing. If you want those areas to be lighter, okay, you want to apply less pressure with your pencil to create, you know, that variety of tone. So when you put them together, you're gradually going from light to tone, and that is creating something more realistic, you know, inside your objects and inside your eye. So I hope we're all applying that to our to our drawing, making them that really, really realistic, you know, aiming for that, that securing, that mastering um, grading criteria. Still got some amazing comments coming here, guys, from uh, from all of you saying how um, you like the picture. It's really good. It's um, thumbs up. I hope the reason why we've got so many, we haven't got many comments at the moment is because you, you're so involved in that drawing and you are, you know, applying yourself 100% to, to your, your drawing. So do I, Jesse and Paige. Okay, Miss. So, Miss Shallow, would you be able to um, go to our, is there another checkpoint? No, A, this is excellent. So, um, I'm not sure, do you, um, uh, after, what time do you want to stop with the session, Miss Shallow, and start with some, I think we've got some shout outs as well, haven't we? Okay, so I'm just going to quickly, while Michelle um, comes back to us, is that we uh, normally what we would be doing is we would be, once we've finished our drawing and you've had the whole lesson at, you know, creating this stunning, amazing drawing, you would be um, picking up your red pens. Okay, and what you would be doing is you would be um, creating two sentences about what went well and even better if. Okay, so I want you um, in the chat window for me. I've put up some um, sentence starters for you guys. So if you're you're stuck about you know how you're going to start this um, sentence about what went well and what you could do better, okay, I've applied some there for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at your drawing that you've produced for me, and I want you to in the chat window for me. I want you to write down what you think as, as you have done really well in your drawing, okay? And then I want you to write a sentence about what you think you could have done better. So very quickly, Miss Kaliva, are you there? I'm just going to get you to bring your drawing back for me. Sure. Would you be able... Would you be able to um, just tell everyone what you think you've done well and then what you think you could do better at for me so they can truly understand what they should be writing um, in the chat window to tell me what they've done well and what they haven't done too well on. But if they could do it again, what they could be making improvements on. Certainly. So looking at my picture, I would say that what in for what went well that I use my media accurately and neatly. So you can see how I managed to develop tone, have some shades, some lights, some shadows and so on. 
Um, even better if, example for me could be thinking a little bit more about composition. So how am I arranging things? For example, here I have some empty spaces. These uh, ice creams are very symmetrical. So I would make a sentence like, even better if I thought about my composition before adding tone or at the very beginning, or even better if um, I arrange my figures in a better way. Um, so that's from me. Um, I hope that helps. If you struggle, we are happy to help you. Fantastic. Thank you, Miss. Thank you so much. Brilliant. I can see some really good what went well and even better ifs coming through here, guys. I'm I like my picture because it shows me what I like and I think I could do better in the eye and make it a little bit more realistic. Fantastic, guys. So the eye is good. I could have done the shape a bit more better. OK, definitely. So, you know, if you haven't done the shape correctly, then sometimes that can hinder your progress because it doesn't look exactly like what you wanted it to look like. Excellent, guys. Um, Adam, the base of my eye is good, but I could improve on the eyelashes. OK, so we've got a lot of mention about the eye, about drawing better with the eye. Excellent, guys. I could have done Ava's put, I could have done better shading. OK, so that will all come with practice, guys. Definitely. The more practice that you do, the better you will become at art. Some more coming through, guys. This is fantastic. I love this, Charlie. What I like about my picture is I've tried my best and it's great. Fantastic, guys. That is all I can ask for, guys, is that you try your your the, your best. OK, I can't ask from any, for anything more. Fantastic, guys. I think these are these are fantastic, fantastic comments coming through. Well, wow, Miss, can you hear me? Just check in. I can hear you. Yes. Oh, great stuff. Um, you lost me there for a minute. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, six. I hope you've had a fantastic art session. It it almost felt like an art attack, Miss, for me, because I have no art bone in my body. It's like, wow, the ice cream cone. For me, the one that blew me off my seat was the frog in the corner. How realistic was that? It, it was, was amazing. amazing. Wasn't it? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, um, Art. Um, we're now going to go over to our shout out. Miss, feel free um, to stay with us if you want to take part in, um, in our shout out. If not, feel free to, you know, to go and enjoy your evening. Mr. Bahari and Miss um, Koliva, thank you so much. What an amazing um, art pieces or demonstration you've actually exhibited. <laughs> thank you. Right, yes, yeah, six, I hope you're ready. Um, so let's go and listen to these shout outs. I know you've all been waiting for this. If you didn't take part in last week's session and you haven't watched the video from last week, I suggest you go back on the website, watch the video, do the checkout. And so that way, when I collect all the different people that have taken part or been participating in the very different event, your name is featured in the grand finale that's the very last session, which is going to be, what's the last session, everybody? Two H's is the key. So what's the last transition session going to be? What subject is it? Let's see, how well do you remember that? I hope they can hear me. Is it the chat window has gone really quiet now. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Horrible history. So there's going to be a grand finale on horrible history, whereby I'm going to literally list down everyone that has submitted the checkout. Whether you got full marks or not, it's not going to matter. So if you're watching this video right now, make sure you go and do the checkout from last week's session, which is which was on um math, the session before, which is a science session. So go ahead and make sure you complete the checkout. Okay, so right, ready for the little. Okay, so here are the runners up. So the runners up, I don't want to hear the music again. 
Right, runners up. So we have got Sophie from East Wickham, Charlotte from Fairford and um, Ford, um, Edda from Fairford as well. Way, way, way to Fairford Academy. Well done. Razak from East Wick um, Wickham. Well done, East Wickham. I can see twice. Um, Mohammed from Parkway Primary School and Charlie from Bedenwell. Now, believe it or not, every single person on the screen got five out of five. So how amazing is that? So you were very attentive in your math session. Full marks. I think we all need a round of applause for them. Can we see some claps coming through the chat window? Well done, well done, well done, well done. And let's go to the finalist. So in fifth position, can we guess what school took fifth place? What school? I'm going to wait. What school? Miss, what primary school do you reckon took fifth place? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't like to guess. Make a guess, Miss. <laughs> right, I'm going to wait for the chat window. What school do you reckon took fifth place? Oh. Bastard Woods. Oh, Jesse and Paige have gone for Bursted Woods. Okay, let me put you all out of your misery. Brampton Primary School. Who do we reckon? Is there anyone here from Brampton? Who do you reckon took fifth place? I feel like I need my music again. That's okay. Um, so if you what you could do is when you come back, you can watch the session and do the checkout. Okay, so we have got Rayan. Well done, Rayan T. Well done. So Rayan came fifth position. Okay. Position number four. So fourth place. What primary school are we going to be allocating the fourth position to? I almost feel like I need my music again. Okay, so we have got East Wickham Primary School. It's a suggestion from Sophie. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was May Place Primary School. I feel like it's the first appearance that we've had from May, uh, May Place so far. And the winner is Nathan. Well done, Nathan. Or Nathan. Okay, in third position, what school do we reckon we're going to be seeing on the screen for third place? So third place goes to? Castilian Primary School. I like how you're all just guessing your primary school, isn't it? I, I, I love that. Okay, who do we reckon is in Castilian that's going to get third place? Do you know what? Oh, I could just go in the chat and look for Castilian. Is anyone from Castilian in the chat? And I can just go and guess them. Ooh, is that what you're all doing? Are you being clever like I am? I can't see anyone. Right, is there anyone that we've guessed in the chat window? Sophie's just there. Every comment, Sophie. Right, it's praise, well done, praise from um, Castilian. Miss, I actually sent you an email, Miss Bosley. I sent you an email. Um, praise also sent us some artwork. So have a look. We might give her some live feedback. Okay, and in fourth, sorry, in fourth, in second place, second position, what primary school do we reckon took second place this time around. Let me guess. Jesse and Paige are going to say Bursted Woods and um, Sophie is going to say East Wickham. Here we go, the Bursted Woods. Bursted Woods. Okay, Precious has joined the Bursted Woods. Okay, so let me put you all out of your Brampton Primary School again. Is there anyone from Brampton here? So who do we reckon is the student that actually took 
second place. Let's get some names. Is there anyone from Brampton? Okay, so second place goes to Luke. Well done, Luke. And are we ready for the finale? Of course we are. Miss, you're going to love this bit. Get ready to rock and roll. What primary school is it going to be? What primary school took first place? Is it going to be East Wickham? Or is it Bishop John Robinson? Or is it going to be Northumberland? Or is it going to be Burstead Woods or Brampton again? Or Upland? Ooh, ready for it? Or Barnhurst? Upland Primary School. And who is it going to be? What's the student? Is it going to be Oliver? Is that why Oliver is on here? Upland. Big capital letters. I love that, Oliver. Capital letters. I can feel the energy through that. Okay, so who's the student going to be? Is it you, Oliver? Is it Oliver that took first place? And it's Jamie. So, Oliver, if... um. Jamie's not watching. Oliver, please do let Jamie know that he took first place in the checkout from the maths um, session from last week. Right, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Your checkout for today's session is actually on the school's website. So quickly go on to that. Quickly do it. And remember, we want the first five correct answers. The first five students I get it correct, you'll be featured in next week's um shout out okay right so miss we've got some questions coming through i'm not sure if you've seen any i have been um searching through but i haven't seen any questions miss okay miss i'll read the one that's come through um i saw one right so it's from layla from north tumberland oh, it's oh yeah one. oh it was there can you see it? I can see it now. Yeah, I've just scrolled down. So how do we send our artwork, guys? If you want to, you can send it to my school email um, and I can post it on. Should I post it onto the Slido window, miss? So they can email me their, their pictures. So I'm just doing it now, guys, for you. I'm going to put my school email in the chat window. And I want you emailing your pictures that you've produced um, for us today so I can see um, see uh, what you've done for, for me and Miss Bahari and Miss Khalifa today. We are looking forward to seeing all of your responses from today's art session. It will be amazing to see them. And you might even get a quick email from me if you send, send me your artwork. OK, so look forward to seeing all of those artworks, guys. It's been absolute pleasure to uh, spend my afternoon with you. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Miss. Right, I'm um, sorry, Aiden. Um, your comment. How did I not get first place? I got it all right. I know Aiden. So it was the first people that get it correct. The so first five people that get it correct. So uh, fifth place was the fifth fastest person to get it correct. Fourth position. Okay, you want me to show you how to go onto the school's web page? Okay, let me, come on guys, you know my technical skills are not the best. Okay, let me go onto the school's website. So, Bexley Heath Academy. Okay, share this tab. Okay, perfect. So, can we all see? So, you go onto Bexley Heath Academy's website, and if you click right here, and you can see, okay, I need to present this tab now. So when you click on click, it takes you to this page instead. 
where you can click here. Now you just scroll down. So for those of you that missed the science, here's the science video. So if you click on this, it will take you to the science video. It was a very long one. It was over an hour, but you can fast forward it if you wanted to, or you can just listen in the background. And then if you see over here where my cursor is, you can see you've got um, resources and on the resources, you can see where it says checkout. And if you click on the checkout, it will take you to the science checkout. So this is what the science checkout looks like. Okay. So if I come back to the welcome page and I present, I share this screen instead. So we want to go to the art. So the maths one is there. So once again, there's the video for the math session, resources, and then the checkout. Okay. And if you then scroll here, it's the art one. So we've only got the checkout for art because obviously the resources we're literally um, drawing um, throughout. So if you click on that, that should take you to this and this is what the art one would look like and then what you would do is you go ahead and type in your primary school so your name first so um i am selena i'm going to call myself selene jones for today obviously you put your real name obviously and then your primary school what primary school do i want to come from um say like how that rhymed and then you go ahead you choose what you think that answer is what you think that one is and so on and so forth and then you would submit it and the minute you submit it obviously don't just guess it definitely choose answers now if i were to submit now nobody else is submitting i get all five correct guess what i'm getting first place because i was the first person to get all five correct that's if i got all five correct i'm not going to submit this because i don't want me to judge me on the fact that I wasn't really paying attention and I wasn't drawing so I might not know what the answers are okay I hope that's answered your question any more questions before we wrap today so you need permission okay so that's fine um miss will go ahead and give you permission so miss you know how to do that yeah, I'm just going to go into the sheet and change the permission status. Miss, it is saying that they've got permission. Is any is anyone still looking for permission? Is it all sorted now? Miss, check your email. Okay, don't worry, um, we'll sort it out. I thought I rectified the problem because we had the same problem last time. I thought I fixed it this time around, but not to worry. I'm going to drop and go downstairs and I'm going to sort that out with Miss now because I don't have rights. It's, it's Mrs. Um, it's Mrs. Checkout, so it's, it's her document. Okay, do you know what is going to be nice though? It's going to work out fairly, isn't it? Because now everybody knows how to access the resources. So if you haven't done any of the checkouts, so if you haven't done the math and the science one, you don't need permission for those, do you? You can go and access those.
Thank you all. It was nice you all joining. So I'll see you all next week, Thursday, for our second to the last session, which is going to be the WOW PE. So you might need to make sure that where you're going to be next week, Thursday, you've got room to move about because there's going to be a lot of movement. OK, so position yourself in a room where you can move about. Right, so it's five for myself and the arts department. I'm going to stay in the chat. I'm going to go downstairs and Miss and I are going to make sure that you all have access. So to make it fair for everyone. Okay, right, so bye everyone. And I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.